In this calculator free question sample error, determine the x value of the point of intersection for the system represented by f of x equals 3 and g of x equals 5 over 2 x plus 1. Now what we have here are different y values. We have the y equals 3 and we have another function with y is equals to 5 over 2 x plus 1. So when we have the uh, same y values, that's the point of intersections. We're going to simply set these two equations equals to each other. So we're going to say 3 is equals to 5 over 2 x plus 1. This is where we just use some basic algebra. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. We're going to get 2 is equals to 5 over 2 x. And then I'm going to simply multiply both sides by 2. So we get 4 is equals to 5x. And then I'm going to simply divide both sides by 5. So x is equals to 4 over 4 divided by 5. So the point of intersection for the x value is going to be 4 fifth, which is 0 0.8. So the answer here is A. Now to understand this question a bit more, we're going to draw this. What does it mean for f of x to equal 3? If this here is my 0, this is a nice graph f of x equals 3. So I'm going to 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to simply draw a nice line here. This red graph is going to be f of x. This here is f of x. It's 3. Whereas g of x, g of x is 5 over 2, has a slope of 5, 5 over 2, which is approximately 2.5, which is exactly 2.5 plus 1. So the y-intercept is going to be here at 1. And it's going to have a slope which is pretty steep. So let's make it uh, pretty steep from here to here. So the point of intersection is going to be over here, which is approximately 0 0.8, which is exactly 0 0.8. That's what we're talking about here. And if we really wanted to find the y-value, we could do so by taking this x value 0 0.8 and plugging it back into this function over here. Or more obviously, just the fact that we know that the y value here is 3 because it's on the line y is 3. So clearly, this point here is 0 0.8 comma 3.